Hello out there. How's everybody doing? Sophia, please put your phone away. Uh, I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, welcome to another week of calamity cooking. I don't see you put away. Sophia, I don't see your phone put away. It is away. Uh, no, it's fine. You're so boring. All right, it's calamity cooking. All right, so we have a fun thing we're going to make today. Uh, Ray is super excited for it. So I have some instant mashed potatoes, some butter, some panko, panko, panko. Uh, some Kerrygold cheddar cheese, which is cheaper than the cheaper stuff, which is really good. It's an, it's an aged cheddar. Some bacon bits, eggs, and milk. So the first thing we have to do to do this is uh, we're going to get the potatoes started. But the reason I am doing this, okay, is who likes Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving is a pretty exciting. That's Ray's favorite holiday, I think. <laughs> Yep. So it's a food holiday. Yeah. So what we have now, <laughs> any of the food ones, right? <laughs> yeah. um, with Thanksgiving, we always have a bunch of leftovers, right? Yeah. Afterwards, usually. Not in Ray's house. Ray eats it all the first day. Yep. But, you know, we sometimes have leftover items, and sometimes it gets boring eating the same thing over and over. Mm -hmm. Okay? So what... I was thinking is uh, how can I show us because it is November now, but yeah. what are what can we do with our leftovers come Thanksgiving time? Yeah. And I sat there, you can eat it, but you know, do you want <laughs> I well I'm not gonna answer ask you this because you eat chili dogs every day. <laughs> it, it's hard for us sometimes to eat the same thing you know, every like day for a few sandwiches. days. Oh, I love you know, it gets a, it gets a little boring sometimes. So I'm going to take our, what our leftover mashed potatoes are, mm -hmm. and I'm going to make something out of it. So the first thing we have to do is we have to get our mashed potatoes cooking. And with this, we have used instant potatoes. The instant potatoes today are not like they were in the 80s. <laughs> they actually taste like potatoes now and they taste good. The old ones were a chalky, nasty thing. Okay, but now they're made with real potatoes that are dehydrated. They kind of mastered it a little bit better. So all you have to do with these is follow the instructions, okay? So it's going to take one and a half cups of water, all right? So one, one cup of water, one half a cup of water, I'll just fill it halfway. It doesn't have to be like perfect with these things, okay? All right, let's just turn that off. And then a half a cup of milk, all right? And just so those who don't know, I do have some oil warming, warming up on the stove because we're going to be needing that. So half a cup of milk. All right. Put that in. Then you got to add a little bit of butter or margarine to it. All right. Uh, it says two tablespoons, but I, I like butter, so I put a lot. Why? Because <laughs> 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 is better with butter. Now, it'll help to cook the mashed potatoes if the pan is actually on. All right? So, we're going to get that boiling and warming up because you want to get the butter melted, the milk warm, and everything like that. Okay, and then we'll get those uh, hash or, uh, mashed potatoes going. What's cool about these is they really only take about three to four minutes to cook. Once wow. the water boils, they're done. Wow. Okay, so we got those going. Now, what we need to do is we need to get some of the other things ready to go. And I got some uh, panko breadcrumbs. They are, are a little bit better than uh, regular breadcrumbs when you fry things. Okay? We'll get those up and up. Because uh, I'll show you guys the difference. Huh? It's not as dense either. It's not as dense. It's lighter, a little bit more golden brown. I believe it reminds me of seeing my cornbread. Almost. Yeah, you're right. Okay. <laughs> So there are two types of breadcrumbs. There's panko, which is more of a Japanese style, and then there's Italian style, okay? So you look at the Italian, okay? They're a little finer, okay? Compared to what the panko are. See, they're a little bigger. So you want the bigger ones, okay? And, you know, panko, I think, tastes a little bit better. It doesn't need a lot of flavor. The Italian seasonings need a lot of flavor on them. So we're going to take some of these panko, and we're going to throw them in this little bread pan here. 
Okay, because we're going to be dipping our mashed potatoes at least. Let's watch this. Make sure that's going good. Yeah, that's one good. Then we're going to take a couple of these jumbo eggs. Uh, these are alligator eggs, just for anybody who's wondering. Okay? And you're going to crack those into a bowl. I'm probably going to use three of them. Okay? Big old alligator eggs. You need three plates, man. It's amazing how people still get on their phone when they're asked not to be on it and they think turning their back works. I don't think so, Clayton. I know, huh? Definitely. Very rude and disrespectful, in my opinion. Great manners. So you just add some eggs and you gotta whisk those things up nice and good. Okay, just whisk them, whisk them. You gotta break up the white membranes in them. Okay, so, so it's very runny. Okay. Okay, so just beat those. Okay. All right, and we just set those to the side for now. Okay, well, we got some stuff going. We don't need this anymore. Okay. So. Well, yeah, regardless, you should be respectful, but you're not a very respectful person sometimes. sometimes. Just sit quietly if you're not interested, but not on your phone. You know, because that's just a lack of respect. So, we got some good uh, aged cheddar. What's nice about aged cheddar is it's hard. Okay, so it's easy to grade. And here we go. We're probably going to break this one of these days. Okay, we just gotta get this stuff all nice and grated. All right. Hopefully, I don't grade my uh, my knuckles. You know, because I'm paying attention to people out there not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Maybe she would like to grate the cheese. And well, I don't know if she knows how. Yeah. It's okay, you know how to grate cheese, honey? No. Yeah, so you should be paying attention to the cooking yeah, class. Okay, so you grate this. It's nice and firm cheese, which is really nice. So you can grate it good. See, it actually crumbles a little bit because it is so firm. Now I got to look over here and make sure this is looking good. Where's my, my little whisk thing? Oh yeah, so the butter is melted and it's starting to boil. So all we have to do is we have to add the mashed potatoes to it. I think you have a question in the peanut gallery. Yes, sir, Mr. Uh, Ashnell. Is the baking, is that possible? It is, but I'm not making it in both. So I'll make okay. some without it, okay? There you go. Yep. Okay. All right, you guys. Okay. Some, some, you yeah, so some with, some without, okay? Okay. So all you have to do is you have to add this powdery substance over here into here and throw it in, okay? Then you take this. And just mix it in, okay? And as you can see, Ray's getting some video of it. Okay? So just turn off the heat now. All right, so you guys can see the powdery stuff just turned into instant mashed potatoes. All right, so look, see, there was that, now it's mashed potatoes. But remember what I said that you use this way. Okay, do we do, did I say use it with freshly made mashed potatoes? Or leftover mashed potatoes. Leftover. Leftover. So they're a day old, right? Yeah. What happens to mashed potatoes when they sit around? It'd be liquid. Huh? It'd be liquid. Ah, uh, not liquidy. It's the opposite. If they sit in the fridge, they dry out. Oh. Okay. So they become so very, very firm. So what do they be? <laughs> no, no, not like that. Not, not that way. Okay. So, this morning I made some in advance because we're using leftover mashed potatoes, okay? So, so if you look, okay, so here's these. See, they still have a lot of moisture in them, okay? As they sit, the moisture evaporates and gets sucked in. So then it becomes more of like a, a Play-Doh, okay? You know, because they're leftover. See how thick they are? Yeah. You know, look, it sticks to the spoon. Okay? And then when they're fresh, they're not as sticky. Yeah. See? Okay, because you're going to use your leftover. You're going to use your leftover one. So we're going to make two different batters here. Okay, so we're going to throw some of these in here. All right? Because you'll see they're super gooey. Look. Okay, 
Yeah. See how gooey they are? Ooh. Okay. All right, so we're going to add some of this cheese. We're going to add cheese there. We're going to add some cheese to this one. Okay. All right, and then you're going to, on one of them, we're going to add some bacon. Okay, well, that's your You're so disrespectful. Wow. Okay, and then we're going to add bacon to this one, okay? All right. It's okay, Ash. No more bacon left for okay. us. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm kidding. So you're gonna take it and you're gonna mix them in, okay? So this one's just gonna be cheesy here, okay? Let me get a different spoon over here. We're gonna do fry it. Say what? Yeah, I'm gonna get to that, okay? I've got my oil heating up over there, okay? So you're gonna mix it so there's bacon and cheese in here. All right. Okay. Yeah, of course, of course Steve just wants the food. Yeah. Um, Cindy, can you give me a couple paper towels to set it right here? Yes, I certainly can. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right, so you'll see that we took some egg and some panko, all right? Okay, so we have the panko in there, we have some eggs. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some of this mashed potato, okay? Because it's cold, it's old. You're gonna roll it in a ball, okay? See how it's a ball? Mm -hmm. Okay, see? Couldn't do that with the hot, fresh ones. That has to be cold, leftover ones. You put it in the egg, okay? You know, dip the excess egg off, and throw it in the panko. All right? So it's like bread. Yeah, it's a bread. Okay. Uh -huh. Then you're gonna go take your little ball, okay? You're gonna come over to your oil. And you're gonna drop it in. Oh. You hear that? Hear that sizzle? Yeah. Okay. Don't look like your face. Oh, you look like the donuts. Oh, oh. All right, they do. Uh -huh. So. Give it a quick deep fry, and you have a deep fried mashed potato ball. Ooh, yeah, nice. I'm going to turn this heat down a little bit, okay? We're running into that same problem we did last time where it heats a little bit too much. Okay? It's a combination. Mm -hmm. So you're going to take some of these, okay? Roll it in a ball, okay? Put it in the butt, the egg. Come over to the panko. All right, just like that. Come over here, drop it in. Boom, okay? Real quick, got to do them quick, okay? Roll them in, egg. These are kind of what is called a croquette, oh. okay? It's a fancy way of saying deep fried uh, potatoes. I thought croquette was game. Uh, croquet. Croquet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay? So, let's roll that. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay? All right. So then we got that. So the oil is actually pretty hot still, okay? All right, just kind of deep fry them. Give them a little crisp on the outside. Okay. So. Whoa! Whoa! Calamity! Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little oil dropped on it. That's it. That's a big deal. Okay. Okay. Hey, that's why we have fire extinguishers and we have Ray. Yeah. <laughs> Ray is actually here. Ray is actually here for big fire. Oh yeah. You know. Yeah. Right, yeah, man, I my phone, man. Yeah, he's like, I'm out of here. That was okay. exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it was special effects. Yeah. Steve Spielberg would be proud. It's like we're at a casual party. Right. Casual party. Okay. Yeah. 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 So these ones here are just the uh, non bacon ones. Okay, okay, the oil is cool because they're not as old as brown. Cindy Palmer. All right. Say what? But as you see, though, look, they're nice and crispy brown. I mean, I need to do this so the oil goes that way. Ha. All right, so we'll throw some more of these in, some bacon ones. Okay. Roll them in. Okay. Yeah. Now, the key to making these, though, it has to be leftover mashed potatoes, not fresh ones. All right. Good. Well, no, the, it's just the fresh ones. The fresh ones are just, they're, they're too soft. Yeah. You can't, you can't put them in a ball. Yeah. Okay? That's what I was wondering. Yeah, yeah, because you're wondering, how are you going to put mashed potatoes in them? But, but now it makes sense, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because you know. You know, and so we got cheesy bacon ones and we have plain ones. All right. And they're actually really fast to do. Huh? 
chives? Chop, yeah, and what you can do is you can take some sour cream and chives and make a dipping sauce. Yeah. You know? You know, hey, more, more ranch or something like that, if you like that, you know? Hey, I have a question. Yes. Um, instead of baking, can you put anything else in there? Yeah, you can put ham, you can put, you can put the chives in it. Uh, you can make them super garlicky. Yeah. You know? You know, and so it could be lot, lots of different things. Really uh, sandy. You know, you can actually do this where you can add more stuff from things. You can add some corn and green beans to it. You know, you could add some stuffing. You know, and make little stuffing ball and uh, potato balls and dip them in gravy. You know? Yeah. Yeah, super, super yeah, it's a heart attack. Yeah, it's a heart attack. It sounds so good. We're just high guys. How about just battered and deep fried uh, little rolled up balls of stuffing? Oh, see, see, that wasn't smart. Oh, my, my hands are wet on the ball. That's what that was. That's right up there with poop. Uh, oh. Alright, so we got some here. Oh, look how quick they're cooking. Yeah. How quick they're cooking? Those are beautiful. How, how quick they're cooking? Yeah. How quick they're cooking. I think you said how quick they're cooking. One more time. Maybe, I maybe did. Actually, I don't know. Actually, he did. He did. He did. Hey, hey, this isn't a grammar class, it's a cooking class. Okay? Well, it's cooking skills. That's right, that's right. Cooking skills. Okay. When you're when your grandma said English was yeah. that former English teacher? Grammar grammar yeah. everything in the house. Well did she yell at you a lot? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like yeah. Okay. I forgot to get uh, towels to dry my hands, so those weren't using my aprons. You want me to get some one? You yeah. could if you like, please. I will. Thank you. Okay. So, so it's really something super simple, guys. How you just throw an old mashed potato in with some a few things, and then just it's a little more work, and it's just something different. It's and also it, a nice little. And it's actually fast too. Yeah, oh, it looks like really a, fast. It looks like. And, you know, a good thing to do, and you know, but because I'm teaching how to do it, is you prep them. And then put them in the fridge. Oh, that too. And then they, you fry them real fast, one right after the other. But because I'm showing you guys, uh, you know what is the process? It's a little slower and uh, yeah, messier and everything else. Because what you do is you prep them, then you clean up everything, put them in the fridge so they get chilled, yeah. or even in the freezer. You can freeze them. Yeah. For later. They'll fry it better than the huh? Can they fry it better? Yeah, but it's gonna take longer. Well, the, yeah, I'd probably just refrigerate them so they're not solid, you know, because it's just something you can do a little bit before. And honestly, uh, this is actually the first time I've done these. Uh, usually I'll just do like a little pancake and throw it in the Ooh. oven, you know. Thank you. Well, you're doing a great job, Well, thank you, thank you. You know, I always like oh, people to say, yes, I know, I, 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 I know, I hey, don't judge, I enjoy it though. <laughs> it's that trick tension, that trick tension, you know. So pretty much that is all there is to this, you know, other than I just got to keep making you guys some because I have a feeling a lot of people are going to want these. Yes, I have a nice try. Yes. Uh, except for Veronica, she said she's allergic to potato and yeah. food. <laughs> you know? Yeah. She's allergic to bacon. Yeah. Any kind of potato. Any kind of potato? Pretty much. So you like a nice rotten potato that has mold all over and everything? Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm not just kidding. That's kind of biotics. You can scrape that mold right off and it's right there. What? Hey, if I got hey Stephanie, can you do me a favor? Will yeah. you pour more of the panko in the pan for me? What a samosa is. Because like, isn't samosa like basically like mashed potatoes with some vegetables? Almost, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I like those. This is like... This is like uh, white samosas. <laughs> well, these are actually French. Yes. Oh, okay. No, yeah. You said the name earlier. Yeah, croquet. 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 Yeah. croquet. Yeah, because you can actually do these also. I don't know what you can you can also do this though with yeah. uh, like shredded chicken and stuff. Mm -hmm. in it, you know, oh, yeah, yeah. and you make it, make some egg in it, keep the, the real thing, and then you. Mm -hmm. One of those Italian ones with rice too. Uh, oh, bolinos or something like that. Rosenzini. Yeah. Yeah. Bingo. Uh, no, uh, in Brazil, I don't 
always make a rice ball like that. You know, I have all the leftover rice, and you throw it in with like a little pancake batter, and then dip it into the yeah, oil. Yeah, right, that's what they're called. You I don't know. You don't know. Uh -huh. Yes, exactly. You're not Italian or anything. Yeah, you're not. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, uh -huh. he, he's American Italian. <laughs> His idea of real Thai food is, uh, you know, uh, all of them. Oh, that's oh, that's, that's, oh, that's oh, fighting oh. words right there. Yeah. That's just like saying Mexican food comes from Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Oh, they're called RNC. It's just not good Mexican food, but it's cheap Mexican food. That's cheap. Oh, oh, I've never had it. I've never eaten it. It's not something you see often on black menus, though. White menus? <laughs> <laughs> on menus. I thought said white menus. No, no, like Italian, most yeah. Italian places won't have hard scenes. Nah. No, nah, and, and that's the thing. Sometimes to get some authentic stuff, you've got to go to like a little Italy or a little France or something like that some places. And that's where you get the, the strange good stuff. Mm -hmm. You know. You get a few more of these fried up for everybody. So, I know Ray was super excited. So I think I'm going to have Ray come over oh, and try yes. one. Ray looks forward to this actually every week. I was, I was. Especially yeah. when he's making good stuff. Yeah, good stuff is going always makes good stuff. Alright. So here we go. Here go. Hot hot. Hot. That should be cool now. Oh yeah, this is yeah. good. Yeah. Alright, here we go. We got a moment of truth. Moment of truth. Here we go. Guys. Here we go. Oh we get it. No, uh, that's just in case it uh, gets an uh, explosion. Yeah, oh, no, it's not as Thank you, Josh West. Yeah, so they're just little fried, little croquettes, you know? Is Dana's hot puppy? Hot puppy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know, but they're super yeah. tender, but they have little crisp on them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh
because you try to say, I'm going to be good, but there's some sort of sister comes over with a tray of fudge, right. some other stuff. Well, that's why we're good to have 10 yeah. times a year. Yeah. <laughs> oh, whatever. I've seen you eat lunch. <laughs> good, good, good. Pin yeah. money. Okay. My, um, my Your intentions are good. I had no, I had Noah's today too. Yeah, yeah, because they're good. They've always been good. I'm thinking my holidays coming up. Huh? My holidays. Coming Your holidays up. coming up. Yeah. What's it called again? Koali. Koali. Yeah. Not koala guys. No, koali. Koali. Okay. Basically, Christmas, New Year. All in one. Fourth of July, all in one. Still lucky. Yeah, I'm still lucky. That's why. <laughs> Yeah, going to Wally, you could do vegetarian, you could do chicken, you could do coffee cream. Or I did eat at that new uh, Indian restaurant downtown. The food oh. was real good. How was that one? It was really good. I had the butter oh. chicken, very tasty. Oh, I've been wanting to try that. Yeah, they're good. Uh, yeah, tandoori right. flame. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. super good. Yeah. yeah, right next to the next restaurant. Yeah, but but I recommend them. They're really good. I had them on uh, last. Bought this past Friday, the Friday before. Oh, yeah. oh last, last Friday, yeah. Last Friday. Uh, butter chicken? Butter chicken. Mm -hmm. And I got the uh, medium one, so yeah. we're always spicy, but still have some okay. meat to it. Yeah. Because I want to enjoy it. But yeah. their, their non-bread was amazing. Yeah. That is probably what I would eat, the non-bread. Yeah. yeah. Uh, honestly, I would go there and get their non and just the sauce they put on the butter chicken and just dip yeah. it in that. You find non-Indian people tasting. Huh? None of Indian people are ready for Dwari to eat. Yeah. Me, myself, so. <laughs> See, I grew up yeah. eating Indian food because my neighbor was Indian growing oh, up. Really? Wow. And, she, and she, her name was, she went by Sandra, and she always made me food. But, uh, she always made me curry. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, we're okay. pretty much butter chicken. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. You know, American, you know American, but American. So, <laughs> so I've always eaten. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I've just never been a. Uh, Lamb person. Yeah, I mean, you don't, lamb. You don't, I just don't. I just don't yeah. like lamb. Yeah. <laughs> Me I've had it. I've had lamb that's really good, but it's like rare that I find lamb. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Same here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But my parents know that. They give me a goat. My mom usually cooked me chicken or something. Uh huh. Yeah, it's yeah. Like lamb. So. Yeah, yeah. The lamb if it's not made right is just yeah. gamey. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not the you know, so it's just like just not yeah. Okay. yeah. Sorry, Miguel, kitchen's gonna be filthy. <laughs> Poor Miguel. Yeah. Have you tried samosas, Lincoln? Huh? Samosas? Samosas, oh, I love samosas. Yeah, smosas, basically, yeah. uh, it's a triangle dumpling. Mm -hmm. And it's filled with like potato vegetables and stuff. Yeah. Why not? Oh. Really sorry, Miguel. It's gonna yeah. be very messy. Poor Miguel. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, it, it, this is just something I made. I thought I'd make show you guys that you could do something fun with leftovers. <coughs> okay, I'm gonna set this over here just for a second. Yeah. All right. So thank you for joining us at Clammy Cookie. It, there was a lot of clammy. Yeah. Mainly not the video.